more project here is online tutorial learning. Um, as you all know that uh, as American, um, North American population is growing, on the other side of the globe, China is experiencing the same phenomenon. Um, as we all know that China um, has a good size of economic expansion, and therefore the whole world is trying to get a piece of this economic pie. So to get into the piece of this pie, what is the key? The key is knowing the language. So speaking of the language, everybody knows that um, once you get to know language, the culture is also need to take into play. So cultural and idiom are important for learners to get into the language in deeper sense. So, um, especially we're now in the economic era, how are we going to incorporate the technology and create more autonomous learners and help them to learn cultural language at any time, anywhere, become an important task. With that problem in mind, we came up with this idea that perhaps I can create a web-based online tutorial tool which can help students have this access to learn cultural idiom language at anywhere, anytime they want to. Um, so I created this module. Uh, with okay. It's called Awesome Chinese. I use uh, several current software in uh, combining video, um, photographs, and uh, interactive questions. This project uses the current software, Dreamweaver, Photoshop, and Movie Maker, and Catspace. So for the uh, uh, incoming students and the new cohorts, these are going to be the program that you're going to be very familiar with and they're going to be very handy and very helpful. I use this software to create my project. Okay. Alright. So, the project is divided, by in, in divided into several different modules. The, um, and it's categorized by different topics. Since it's, it's talking about idioms, um, idioms can be taught in different ways. Uh, the way I categorize it is by the parts of the body and uh, animals and all different objects. So later I'll have a chance to show you what my project is like. So the little theory. So um, this project is embedded with the concept or understanding of the Bandura's social learning theory um, of presenting the uh, Chinese idioms to Chinese language and cultural learners through fun interactive videos. And also the behaviorism by Skinner, brought up by Skinner, um, to deepen learners' understanding through a stimulus response theory. And uh, the um, self efficacy brought up by Ventura also. Um, and let's not forget the uh, Ganyan's nine step learning theory. That one is also taken into consideration. Now, uh, Bogowski's G, uh, ZPD also, I wanted to take that into consideration, however, since this is a learner interacting with computer, not with the peers, the ZPD was not taken into consideration for this project. Alright, the, my audience. My target audience, the training was designed for adult learners um, because I work for Defense Language Institute. So my learners, they are who um, the current learners who are enrolled in the Chinese program in BOI. Uh, they were from all branches of service and ranks in age of from 18 to 35. The proficiency level of them are varies. Um, some of them are just beginning lear learners. They are, uh, their language proficiency is pretty low. They're not able to understand any um, Chinese language in terms of the grammar, vocabulary, or whatever, that's you know pretty low level. However, another group of the uh, participants who were in the intermediate level, where they are able to understand daily life conversation. However, in terms of a reading comprehension, if you ask them about the author's intention or author's um, 
spoken, they're not able to tell you what that is. So those are the backgrounds of the audience. They are from a different background and different proficiency level. Okay, here's my just uh, demo. Suggest me to watch the video one more time so I can do it again. Or if I don't want to watch the video one more time, I can retake the quiz. So this software allows me to do that. And then after they have done all this, they can move on to a different series they want to. Yeah. Eyes. Like that. So that's my project. Smaller than 0.05, so 
meaning it's a significant shot on a significant um, effect in terms of using this as an effective learning tool. So, um, yeah, that's my project. All right. Um, before questions, I'd like to first um, pay, um, address my gratitude to my advisor, Dr. Tao, who's always there. You can find him 24-7 online, on Skype, anywhere. So whenever we need him, he's always there, and he's very supportive, very encouraging. Now, the second one I would like to uh, say my gratitude to is Dr. Uh, Su. She, uh, because her organizing skills, she made this program a very profound and very useful, very practical program. And I learned a lot from this program, thanks to Dr. Su. Thank you very much for the wonderful work and hard, um, hard work and time. Um, and other faculties who helped us with the uh, language uh, especially Kara, thank you very much for your support on the language writing skills. Um, my classmate, we all were going. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> the classmates is actually a very important factor. My team members, they helped me a lot. If without 